welcome back to my channel. Today is part three of our three-part series that we've been working on, and that is a collab with my sister, Emma May. I will link her channel down below, but I'll also be inserting her choices for her project pan along with mine in this video. So if you're not familiar, Project Pan is when you choose some items in your makeup collection that you'd like to use up in a certain period of time. Whether that means that you're completely using a liquid product like a foundation or um, where the name comes from is your pressed cosmetics, like this is a powder right here. When you get down and you start using it up, you can see a little bit of the silver pan here in the middle. And what panning means is that you want to use it up completely. Use it all up so that all is left is the silver pan that your cosmetic is pressed into. So, we're gonna pick 10 items. We decided ahead of time on the categories and let's get started for concealer my choice is going to be this number seven radiant glow concealer focus it doesn't matter there's not much to see with the name there but i love this concealer it was one of the first that i purchased um from watching youtube videos i felt like it was recommended to me and i would say that this guy is maybe half full still it's completely impossible to see given the packaging is a solid um, chrome or silver reflective material um, it does have this brush cap and you click up the product using this button on the bottom so that is my concealer I would like to use up in 2018 the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer I am in the shade fair I love this it's just the perfect amount of like brightening for me let me show you here that's what it looks like. I just absolutely love this concealer. I've tested out others, but nothing comes close. Amazing. The foundation that I'd like to use up this year is the Pixie H2O Skin Drink. This is what it looks like. It has a pump on the bottom. I have the shade number two, Nude. And this is all but brand new to me. It says, cooling and hydrating sheer tinted water-based gel. Apply as you would moisturizer and pat into the skin. I actually use a beauty sponge for this. I love it, it's lightweight, it's great for everyday wear. Also, this was one I thought that I could use not only this winter, but going into the warmer months when I'm gonna be outside and don't want my foundation running down my face or what have you, this is a lighter weight product. Again, it's all but new. I've only used it a few times, but I definitely want to use it because Pixie is not a cheap product. So, wish me luck. I'm mostly a powder foundation girl, but as far as actual foundations, this is always my favorite. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. I don't think it's necessarily super matte, but I do love this stuff. Um, it's just a little like whipped texture here. And honestly, I, like you can just dip a brush right into it and apply it like you would a powder, but it looks like an actual foundation. I really don't want it to go bad or anything, so that's why I want to use it up this year. It's just, I love it too much and it's too easy to use to let it go bad. This is powder and here's another number seven product. This is their Perfect Light Pressed Powder and I wear the shade medium. You can see here that I actually just hit pan on this today. Sorry, Emma. I hope that's not cheating. Um, it can take me quite a while to go through a pressed powder and I've had this pressed powder the, long, the longest. I actually had this before I started my journey in beauty but it is a great powder. This is actually my second one. It's very nice on the skin, um, kills shine like a bad mama jamma, and I really love their packaging. It's really sleek, and I wanna use this guy up so I can try other things in the future. Cody, sorry, upside down. Cody Airspun Powder. I love this powder. It is amazing. It really makes your face look just airbrushed and flawless. 
I want to use this one up though because uh, it's really heavily scented, which isn't my favorite, and I want to use it up so that I can buy the unscented version. I mean, I could buy it now, but I don't want all this to go to waste. I'm going to try and use this up this year. Next is bronzer. Again, number seven with their super cute packaging. I promise this is the last number seven product. I really do like them. Um, and so this is actually one of my favorite bronzers. I feel like I've been using it forever prior to getting the clay, play, bleh, clay play palette. This was my go-to bronzer. It used to have the lines going all the way into the center, if that gives you an idea of how much I've already used. This is the shade Caramel, or Caramel, <laughs> and it's a really good shade for my skin tone. I love it, it's easy, there's no shimmer in here. This is a matte bronzer, and I think I can hit pan on this bad boy in 2018. The one I wanna use up is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which looks like this. And the reason that I want to use this one up is partly because, one, it's a mini, so I should actually be able to use it up. It's not going to last for eons. And also, I just, the color is perfect for me. I am really fair, so it's hard to find bronzers that are fair enough sometimes, but this one is absolutely perfect. And it stays on. I used it in a wear test video. It really stays on all day, which I absolutely love. And... Also, I mean, who doesn't love that smell, that chocolate smell? I mean, if you're sensitive to scent, you might not, but I absolutely love it. So that's my bronzer for 2018. Next is brows, and this is the Essence Make Me Brow, and it is the Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I have brownie brows, which is their number two shade. It says it's a three-in-one color fill and shape colored eyebrow gel with fibers for naturally fuller looking brows, which is exactly what I need. Now, it doesn't hurt at all that this product is $2.99 at Ulta, and we have a little tiny spoolie on the end, so it's really easy to get through those brows. This is... Um, the last step in my brow routine right now. I will brush through my brows with a spoolie, follow up with my MAC brow pencil to fill any sparse areas and to draw in a little bit of a tail, which I'm losing as I get older. And then last, I comb this through the brows and again go through with my spoolie just to set things in place, fill in those last little bits of areas that are sparse and I just can't say enough good things about it. For a cheap bra pro bra brow product, you can't go wrong with this one from Essence. So mine is actually a really cheap one, but I just, I like it, but I don't reach for it as much as I used to, And but I really wanna keep getting use out of it. So it is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil, and this brow pencil is great. I just think I have maybe the wrong shade. I like a cooler brown shade, and this is a like a warmer brown. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's a little bit cool tone, but not as cool as some. And I just want more of a taupey shade. I don't know how to explain it. It's just not quite right. But it's such a good, I mean, it's so creamy and it's a good product. And so there's not really any reason not to use it. I mean, it even has a spoolie. And it doesn't look bad in my brows. I'm just being silly. So I want to go ahead and use this up. <laughs> alert this pan project comes with a disclaimer I don't think anyone can realistically finish up an eyeshadow palette in a year certainly not a junkie like me because I don't like to use the same palette every single day but this is a great one and I'd really like to see myself pan so hit the silver part so you can see it on at least four to six of these eyeshadows in Lorac. It is a softer formula. Um, I'm generally light-handed with my cosmetics um, and especially my powder products but this is really easy to use up in a hurry and I love the range of colors in here. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I don't think I said that. But yeah, I'd like to see myself hit pan on at least four to six colors in this palette this year. It has a great selection of brow bone highlights, transition shades, um, and I think realistically I can hit at least four pans. And it's got to be my favorite palette 
the Clover palette. I love this thing. I just want to use it every day. I mean, look how cute it is. It's by Too Faced. And there's a couple shades in specific that I really think I'll hit pan on. Probably about three. So here it is. And the shades I think I'll hit pan on are is this dark sort of pinky mauvey color plummy i don't know how you want to describe it but like a dark pink and then this lighter pinky peach color as well i love both of these and wear them together all the time as well as this oil slick shade i love this i just i don't know it's the perfect just i don't even know just perfect oil slick type shade i love it i use it all the time it already i've only had this for a month and it already has like a dent in it and yes, so this one I want to hit pan on at least a few of those shades because I love it and I just want to use it every day. Setting sprays. This one here I got in a boxy charm and I love it. The mister is super fine. This might be cheating, but whoo. Look at that mist. <laughs> I just used a pump right now for the, my video. But this is the Color FX Illuminating Setting Spray and I love this. It's the finest mist that I have ever tried in a setting spray. And it does give you kind of an all over illumination which you could probably see from the shine on my face today. Because I do use this almost every day. Um, and I would say we're probably somewhere in the three quarters mark um, in terms of how much I've used here. So fingers crossed, we'll see if I can finish it up in 2018. Which there's nothing wrong with this setting spray, but I don't find myself reaching for it as much as I thought I would. And it is the Cover FX setting spray. Let's see, Illum sorry, it's the illuminating setting spray. We actually got this in a boxy charm. And the mist is really fine. So if you like a setting spray with a really fine mist and it really does hold on to your makeup, but what I look more for in a setting spray is to be like hydrating and kind of take away any kind of powdery look or anything like that. So that's why I think I just don't reach for this, but I do use it. I spray it on my brushes when I'm putting certain shadows on to make them kind of stick better and look bolder. So I do think I can use this, but I think I really should use it more for my eyes more regularly because it, it really helps hold on to your makeup. So I want to get some more use out of this. It's a really nice high-end product. So yes, I want to use this up in 2018. Lippies, and I must say this was the hardest choice for me to make. I love lipstick, especially right in there with that eyeshadow. Um, those are probably my two favorite products to use and buy. This is an old one and it's from Avon. I don't know if we'll be able to see that or not. Um, this is how much is left. You can see it's been well loved and this was my ride or die lipstick shade for a number of years. I sold Avon years and years and years ago, like 16 years ago, something like that. This is the shade uh, Chocolate Fling. How could I forget that? <laughs> and I love it, but since I've started buying new products, tons of new products and finding some new favorites, this guy has kind of been left behind. And I really would like to use him up in the year 2018 because he's getting old. Um, I did not buy this 15 or 16 years ago. This is repurchased many, many times over because it was such a great shade match for me. I'll give you a quick little swatch just to show you what it looks like and I don't know if you can tell but that's a pretty good shade for my skin it's kind of a satin finish not much shimmer not definitely not metallic and I will be trying to use this up this year all right so this product here was one of the hardest to choose and that is a lippy so some kind of lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. I have so many and I love them all. And so this was just such a hard category and it was hard to think of what ones would I even come close to using up. And so I found this one which is a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, which I think would be perfect because I could wear it when I'm wearing full makeup and love it or wear it when I'm wearing no makeup and love it. So this one here, I'll show you a swatch. Let's see here. It, sorry, my hands are a little red. They're a little bit dry, but it is this one and it's just kind of this sheerish brown pink. It's actually called pink truffle and I just absolutely love this color. Like I said, I feel like 
I can wear it anytime whether I have makeup on or not and it just looks perfect and because it's not super super bold I don't have to worry about a lip line or anything I can just put it on and go it has a really great wear time so this is out of all my lipsticks the one I think I'm most likely to come close to using up in 2018 <music> is skincare and this is one of my favorite brands and also one of my first anti-aging products that I bought. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum and I first found out about this product on Emily Noel's YouTube channel. She talked about how she liked it and she thought it was a really unique product being a cream serum. A lot of serums are a clear translucent um, type of a liquid and this one actually is a cream. Let's see if we can show you. So if you can see it's kind of this yellow um, consistency and you just put this on your skin after you've done all your cleansing and toning and things like that. I put this on before I moisturize at night. I don't put it all over my face since I do have combo to oily skin, but I put it up here on my forehead lines, as you can see, and then on the sides of my mouth here up to my nose for um, laugh lines. So I would like to move on and start trying some other anti-aging products after I use this up and that's why I'm putting it in my project pan for this year. A good skincare product that hydrates is my like biggest deal, the thing that I really really need. And so the one that I have found that I really enjoy that I want to use up is the Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful what's it called? Super Hydration Sleepover Mask. I actually use this more like a night cream. I use this almost every night and it really keeps my skin nice and hydrated and it looks way better in the morning it's not all dry and irritated and everything this stuff is amazing i want to use it up honestly because they have some different kinds of these and i'm wondering what i would think of the different kinds and if those would work good as well especially i might want a little bit lighter one in the summertime so i want to go ahead and use this up so I don't need a whole bunch of different kinds at once, but I kind of want a lighter one for the summer. So this isn't even a 2018, this is like a winter of 2018. I want to use this up. Next is primer, and some of you may have seen this before. This is not really cheating. This is a deluxe size, um, sample size primer from Becca. It's their backlight primer. I really like this stuff and it is new to me. I don't use primer a whole lot so that's why I felt like that it was more unfair to um, start with a deluxe size and then if I do finish it up before uh, 2018 is over then I'll grab a new primer and we'll have a rolling pan project where I add a different primer in to try and use up. So this is what it looks like. It is iridescent. It really looks nice on the skin. I really think you could even use this alone on a no makeup makeup kind of a day. I don't know how well you can see. There we go, the shine. It is definitely iridescent. I do put this one all over my face. Um, it says here, more than just a primer, it's the secret behind the iconic Becca Glow and acts as an instant filter. So it's, like I said, really good. I don't use a ton of primer, but when I do, I like this one. I would say it's practically brand, brand new. It's maybe down here in this area. So we'll see what kind of damage I do this year. And this is another one that was a little bit hard to choose because I have a lot of primers and I like different primers for different purposes. But I decided the one I want to use up is one that I'm really intrigued by. And I really like it so far, but I'm trying to figure out what I think or what I'll think of it in the summer. So I want to use it up so that I can really have a fully formed opinion of it. And that is this NYX Oil Primer. It's probably a little tricky to see the label there, but it is the NYX Hydration Oil Primer. And it is, let's see, it has like sweet almond oil and jojoba oil in it. The interesting thing about it is it takes a really long time to absorb into your skin, but it does make your skin look really nice and like sort of plump and healthy. But I'm wondering in the summer if it'll be a little bit too much. So I just really want to use this up and get kind of over the course of a year fully 
formed opinion of it and what I really think of these oil primers. So yeah, these are all 10 products that I plan to use up in the year 2018. What do you think? How did I do? I'd love to hear some from some panners out there how you think I did in choosing my products. Do you think I'm going to be able to use those up? Um, are you guys out there doing a project pan this year? What are your things that you're hoping to use up? How do you choose your products that you put into your project pan? Do you think a year is a good amount of time? Do you think it's better to do a smaller amount of time, like um, quarterly or six months? What do you think? So um, I hope you guys like this video. It was fun to do this three-part series. That's why I showed you my collection first, told you about my makeup resolutions um, in terms of using up my collection in a more efficient way and making more conscious decisions about what I'm purchasing in the future. And then this video, which again is a collab with my sister, Emma May. Check out her channel, check out her video. And I hope to see you again soon.